This is a valve repair video for the General Pump Model HF series. The tools you will need for this repair are an impact wrench, a soft rubber mallet, packing lubricant, a 3 8 inch ratchet, a 12 millimeter hex drive, a needle nose pliers, a torque wrench, a pusher tool, and a slide hammer. Use the impact wrench with a 12 millimeter hex attached to loosen the eight valve plate retaining bolts. Remove the plate. Insert and thread the slide hammer with the 10 millimeter adapter into the valve plug. Tap the slide hammer to remove the valve plug. Remove the valve plug from the slide hammer. Invert the plug and thread it back onto the slide hammer. Hold the slide hammer in both hands and tap the slide hammer to separate the valve cage from the valve plug. Unthread the valve cage from the slide hammer. Use a needle nose pliers to remove the spring and the poppet from the manifold. Insert and thread the slide hammer with a 10 millimeter adapter through the valve seat and into the spacer. Tap the slide hammer to remove the spacer and the outlet valve. Remove the valve from the slide hammer. Insert the slide hammer into the manifold and thread it into the inlet valve cage. Tap the slide hammer to remove the cage. Remove the valve cage from the slide hammer. Use a needle nose pliers to remove the valve spring. and the valve poppet. Insert a pusher tool into the bottom of the manifold, placing it up against the valve seat. Install and thread the slide hammer onto the pusher tool. Remove the handle from the pusher tool. Tap the slide hammer to remove the inlet valve seat from the manifold. Remove the valve seat from the slide hammer. These are complete disassembled inlet and outlet valves and their components. There are two separate kits available from General Pump for this repair. A kit for the inlet valve and one for the outlet valve. The assembly is the same for both the inlet valve and the outlet valve. Be sure to inspect all components of both valves and replace any parts if necessary. After inspection, reinstall the poppet to the seat, the spring, and the cage back onto the assembly. Firmly push down on the cage until it snaps back into place. After assembly, Push the poppet to ensure that there is free movement.
thread the cage onto the slide hammer with a 10 millimeter adapter. Apply packing lubricant. And insert the cage back into the manifold. Tap the slide hammer with a soft rubber mallet to fully seat the cage. Unthread and remove the slide hammer. Install the backup ring into the spacer. Install the first O-ring into the spacer. Install the second O-ring onto the spacer. Thread the inlet valve onto the slide hammer with a 10 millimeter adapter. Apply packing lubricant to the O-ring and the backup ring. Install the slide hammer with the inlet valve and spacer attached into the manifold. Use a soft rubber mallet to lightly tap the valve until it is fully seated. Remove the slide hammer. Thread the valve plug onto the slide hammer with a 10 millimeter adapter. Apply packing lubricant to the plug O-ring and backup ring. Insert the plug into the manifold. Tap the slide hammer until the plug is fully seated in the manifold. Remove the slide hammer. Install the valve plate. Use a 3 8 inch drive ratchet with a 12 millimeter hex drive attached to tighten all of the bolts. Use a torque wrench to tighten to the proper specs. Thank you.